that's who I am. That's the work that I'm doing. I am very excited about it, obviously, and I've been doing it for a while. I just haven't known what to call it. So this is an introduction to, hey, I'm giving myself a title and this is what I'm claiming for myself moving forward, which feels odd, but it also makes sense because I am and my business and my team is pioneering something that isn't really being done in our world yet. Welcome to Chez Jeunesse, the place of new beginnings. My name is Katherine Hubert, and I founded and own a French-inspired cafe where, as a team, we are on a mission to change the way that our world understands neurodiversity and employs humans with disabilities. Our restaurant was born and is based in Greensboro, North Carolina, and that's where we practice and teach our mission and model. This is our channel where we dive in deep to who we are, what we do, and why we do it. Our hope is that this content is empowering to disabled and non-disabled humans alike, and that no matter what perspective you are coming from, employer, employee, parent, friend, or Shazeness fan, you feel welcomed, you learn something new, and you walk away with a deeper appreciation and understanding of humanity. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Katherine Hubert and I am a disability integration coach. If you're new here, you might be like, what is that? If you've been around here for a while, you might be like, why have we never heard you say that before? And that's because this video is going to introduce a new title and role that I have taken on for myself. And we're gonna dig into why the need for the title change, where is this coming from, why or how am I qualified to claim this title, and what does that mean for our channel and for the work that I'm doing here. So. Thanks for being here. We're gonna dive right in. We have been doing this YouTube channel for a little over two years now. If you don't know anything about me, if you're brand new here, hi, I'm so glad to have you. I own a restaurant in Greensboro, North Carolina that's French inspired. We've been open for about five and a half years now and we offer an integrated hiring model, which means that among our team of about 30 people, about half of that team is disabled and half is non-disabled. And that's been something that's been part of our business model since the very beginning, something that we have continued to only learn more and more about over the years that we have been open and something that we are pushing deeper into in terms of how we talk about our work and inviting other people into doing the work of breaking down disability bias, integrating your workplaces, and what does it look like to truly have a space that's adaptive and inclusive to people with disabilities. So we have lots of videos that kind of cover different topics or snippets of that. Today, I'm hoping to step more fully into the role that I really do have with this business and the role that I'm stepping into in the world and in the world of disability employment and advocacy and how that's going to not necessarily shift the content that we're creating, but hopefully bring it into a more clear vision and and that the content that we're creating has a very clear lens and category that it's falling into. And that's for several different reasons. And I want your involvement in that with me today. In creating Chez Jeunesse, I have known since the very beginning, starting this one restaurant, that I only wanted to start one restaurant. My goal has never been to franchise, to create a bunch of little Chez Jeunesse's, <laughs> but to just have the one and to have it based here in Greensboro. There's many different reasons behind that. One is that I think it's really special to only have one of something and that when you start to mass produce or replicate, you start to lose some of the magic in the on authenticity of what made that thing relatable, what people resonated with, what people connected to. And also that just isn't like my own capacity. I knew it took all the capacity that I had to start and then to still maintain the one business that I do have. I'm not interested in stretching myself and my capacity beyond what I feel like I can do well and do with excellence. But lastly, and this is a really important piece, I don't want to take on the mantle of disability employment as my own personal and my own business mission and keep it isolated to just us. My goal really is to practice our mission and our model within our own business, but then to teach and to equip other business owners, leaders, innovators, etc., 
to do similar work within their own fields of interest, their own expertise, their own businesses. That again, holds many different reasons. A big one being there needs to be equal opportunities for people with disabilities in all fields. It's not fair for that to be limited to very specific ones. And right now it oftentimes gets reduced down to hospitality and service, specifically coffee shops. I'm a restaurant because the restaurant industry is my industry. That's what I'm trained in. That's what I wanted to do. But I want to see the opportunities for disabled humans open up and expand through all different kinds of industries and job opportunities. That's what equal employment would actually look like. So it really doesn't do me a lot of good to have a bajillion restaurants that all have the same mission and model and to still have disability employment kind of isolated to this one experience or this one industry, but instead want to really break into a lot of other industries and challenge the way that business owners and leaders are thinking about employment and how disability integration fits into that employment. So all of that being said, that's one of the reasons why we have a YouTube ch channel. It's been a space for me to get to practice and take all the like processings that are inside of my brain and actually put them out into the world and to hear myself talking about my own thoughts and process to dig deeper into what am I actually thinking? Like I learn something when I go back and I watch these videos every week to edit them <laughs> and to review them. I learn things about myself and what I really think and what I believe because of the process of saying it out loud and then listening back to that. But it also helps me to pinpoint, am I communicating that in a way that other people can relate to and identify with and learn something from. So that's been part of the process. And then hopefully inviting other people into this journey and this process that's been very personal to me of examining and breaking down my own bias around disability. And then what does it look like to have that be very central to the work that I do and wanting more and more people to link arms with me in that. So if you're here, this is gonna be a twofold thing. I need your participation here. So if you're still here, if you're still watching this video, thank you for one. But two, I really, really would love some feedback from you. If this is your first time here at our channel, I would love if you could drop in the comments and let me know how you landed on it. What brought you to this page in the first place? If you've been here and you've been watching our content for a while, would you put down in the comments why you come back each week to watch our content? What resonates with you? What pulls you back? What are you most interested in? On top of that too, if you have been watching our videos, if there is a particular type of video or theme that we talk about that you appreciate or find the most value in, if you could put that in the comments too. All of that is because I am trying to figure out who my audience actually is. And inside of that, and this comes back to the beginning of me talking about why and how did I end up at a place of saying that I'm a disability integration coach. For me, this process of, really this is a process of marketing. There is a lot of relational aspect to this marketing, but essentially, this is me talking about my business and my thought process and putting it out in the world as a product for other people to consume, to listen to, to comment on. And so in marketing, it's important to know one, what's my position, who am I and what product do I have to offer? And then two, as my audience, who is my audience and how am I creating content that's specific to my audience? Part of our hope Part of my hope with Chez Jeunesse has always been that we don't have just one specific audience, but that we're really welcoming and hold a lot of space for any person who wants to be part of our community. That's something that we have been doing and something that I'm so thankful for. And also it can be very confusing for me to try to figure out who our audience actually is. Who am I speaking to? And I think that there might be more than one audience that's engaging with this content and I am okay with that for sure. I like that, but you giving some feedback would be helpful to know, are there any common threads between those audiences and what is it that excites people the most about this channel and about the content that I'm creating? Outside of that is I've been sitting with truly, who am I? What is my position? What is my relationship to you? as the viewer, as someone who's part of this community, and then how do I use that as something that's foundational to the content we're creating? I kept trying to think through different aspects of my identity. So it's like, well, I'm a business owner. I own a restaurant. And I was like, well, that doesn't really feel like that's all encompassing to 
the work that I'm doing or really very specifically the content that I'm creating for this channel. I don't talk a lot on here about what it takes to actually run a restaurant. I'm also a chef, but I definitely don't talk on this channel about that. This isn't really like a, hey, let me give you cooking tips. Although I could. That doesn't hardly ever come into conversation on this channel at all, but it is part of who I am. And then I was like, well, I'm a disability advocate. I'm advocating for equal rights for people with disabilities. But I was like, but I think it's more than that because I'm not just advocating. I'm also trying to educate and to create this internal work and process of getting curious about the bias and the mindsets that we have and then how that impacts our actions. So I'm not here to just change policies and systems and laws and things that are more structural in nature. I'm really here to talk about what's going on internally inside of our minds, inside of our bodies, inside of our hearts, and how that's then translating into the external. So I was like, advocate doesn't seem like that's quite the, quite the path. I was like, I'm essentially a non-disabled human who's gotten curious and is examining her own bias and then inviting other people to do the same. That's pretty wordy if I'm trying to be like, hi, I'm Catherine, I'm a non-disabled human who is concentrating and focusing on her own disability bias and would like to invite you to do the same with me. We're gonna lose people, that's too much. So as I've been thinking it through, it's like truly what am I doing and how can that be summed up in a title? Disability integration coach is what I've landed on. I think that is who I am. I think that's the overarching umbrella title and then all these other pieces of who I am, an advocate, an employer, a restaurant owner, a chef, a non-disabled human, like that all falls underneath that and is part of who I am. But being a disability integration coach, I am here to push for a world where human Humans with disabilities aren't just included, they're truly woven into the fabric of society and into the fabric of our workplaces. And I'm here to take the experience and the work that I've done and share that, but with the intention of providing coaching and questions and feedback and encouragement to other people who are ready to start that journey for themselves. That's who I am. That's the work that I'm doing. I am very excited about it, obviously, and I've been doing it for a while. I just haven't known what to call it. So this is an introduction to, hey, I'm giving myself a title and this is what I'm claiming for myself moving forward, which feels odd, but it also makes sense because I am and my business and my team is pioneering something that isn't really being done in our world yet. And so it makes sense that there's not a title that's already existing to claim for myself or to work towards. Why am I qualified to do that? Because I've been doing the work and because I have invested years <laughs> and lots of money and all of my time, truly all of my resources into discovering what does it look like to create this business model and then what kind of person do I need to be in order to have this business model in the world. And then I do it, I live it out on a daily basis. So there we go, there we have it. <laughs> All of that being said, that's gonna be something that we talk about a little bit more in coming videos. It'll probably be the way that I introduce myself in future videos. So just get used to that term when you hear me say it, if you're like, oh yeah, we did, we learned about this, this makes sense. So I'm a disability integration coach. I'm excited to have you here doing that work with me. Your call to action for this week is please, if you're brand new here, would you put in the comments how you got here, why you clicked on this video. If you've been here for a while, could you please drop in the comments what keeps you coming back each week and which videos or type of video do you find most interesting or gravitate towards? That'd be great, that'd be super helpful. Thank you very much. I appreciate you signing off. I'll see you next week.